വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ ഐ ഹാവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് അപ്പ് ഈ സെഷൻ ഫോർ സി എം ആർ ടി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കനേഡിയൻ അസോസിയേഷൻ ഓഫ് മെഡിക്കൽ റേഡിയേഷൻ ടെക്നോളജി ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ സർട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ എക്സാം നോട്ട് സിംപ്ലി ലൈക്ക് എച്ച് സി ടി സി രജിസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഓർ കൊറൂർ രജിസ്ട്രേഷൻ സോ അബൌട്ട് ദി സർട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ എക്സാം ആൻഡ് ദ ഡിസിപ്ലിൻസ് ഫോർ ദീസ് എക്സാം Uh, and how is the exam pattern all those things we have discussed in part 1 session uh, those who have not yet watch have a watch to part 1 and this is a continuation of part 1 so for today we will be seeing how to fill up the assessment application form and the checklist will be discussed for today's session and in the first session i have discussed the exam centers it is all across canada dubai and qatar now the exam is online you need not to rush to centers for writing this exam you can attend this exam as online uh, then uh, all about the exam and all those things will be discussed in the upcoming sessions also so let us begin today's session patiently watch till the end you have to do simply googling as assessment process for cmrt and once you scroll down you can see application for assessment just click on to application for assessment after clicking you will be reaching this site that is internationally educated medical radiation technologist application for assessment you can click here to create a cmrt account you have to create a cmrt account along with that you have to fill this form to which discipline you are applying just put a tick mark to the area of interest afterwards you have to give your personal details along with email and in canada uh, for some areas this cmrt qualification is enough and to some other areas Uh, the assessment of that particular regulatory body is also needed if you are preferring there's those areas you have to provide information by clicking over there okay afterwards coming is the educational program uh, so the evidence required is the transcript should be notarized then the certificate should be notarized and the course information form the title of the program and the name of the program remains the same and it should be given as if in your graduation or the diploma document then comes the educational information details for theory as well as the clinical training should be given the length of the total program in theory in months and clinical in months should be given then if you have attended any canadian training program if it is yes you have to give the details then comes the description of the equipment used during your training means during your course you have to given and the procedures performed during your course program should also be given and the type of the patients you have attended whether it is adult pediatric trauma all those types of patient details should also be given in the part 2 the language proficiency you have to give english as your medium of instruction so you have to get the certificate from your institution then comes the work experience you have to give all the details of your employment along with your supervisor name and signature and you have to get an employment letter also about the procedures and your start and end date and your duty hours all those things you have to get from the employment along with that you have to fill up the assessment checklist that we will be discussing shortly and uh, about the employment letter i have already discussed in the previous session part 1 and also the declaration you have to get a referee letter a person who is knowing you for 2 years should give the uh, letter related with your a character and a non refundable for the assessment you have to spend a 300 cad that is canadian dollar and your card details should also be given they will be taking directly from your account and make sure that all these documents you have filled up that is assessment application form assessment fee notarized copy of the transcript course information form language proficiency letter of referee then the clinical assessment checklist and the evidence of registration with the professional body evidence of your professional experience 
letter of reference supporting a uh, good character and once all these documents are there you have to put tick to all those boxes and make sure all these documents are uh, notarized and afterwards let's see the clinical assessment checklist click on to clinical assessment checklist and uh, once you have reached this uh, site you have to just scroll down and you can see here clinical assessment checklist for all the four discipline and to which discipline you are applying for that you have to fill up that checklist for example let us see one specialty that is magnetic resonance just click on to magnetic resonance Once you have clicked, uh, you will see the uh, checklist for magnetic resonance. You can see here see the procedures. For example, that is musculoskeletal imaging. There each uh, the shoulder, elbow, wrist, everything is given. Uh, you, you have to put the tick mark to that area of interest and you have to fill the date last performed in month and year. Afterwards, you have to scroll down. You have to give all the details and after that you have to uh, fill up uh, you have to give your signature as well as uh, your clinical supervisor should also sign and certify that uh, this candidate uh, I hereby certify that the applicant has competency performed all press procedures identified likewise your employer or the su clinical supervisor should certify and give their details also likewise you have to fill up for a nuclear medicine if you are looking for the specialty nuclear medicine you have to click to nuclear medicine and fill up the same as for magnetic resonance you have to gear, uh, give the date last performed likewise for uh, radiological technology uh, as well as for Hope you are clear with today's session. In this session, we have discussed how to uh, filling an application form or checklist is something very easy for you. Uh, and send all these documents along with the uh, certified documents. Means the application form along with the certified documents to the email address which is given above. Send to this email address and this assessment process will be for three months. After completion, our the uh, experts will be checking your course syllabus. Afterwards, you will be getting an intimation email whether you are eligible to write this exam and where, at what time or which month the exam is happening. Everything I have discussed in part first session. So, with respect to that, you can prepare for the exam and take your date for the exam. So with that, and before moving on to that, you might be thinking about the CMRT sample question papers. All those things, from where you will get this question paper and all those things will be discussed in the next video. So patiently wait for my next upload and I usually upload my videos on Sunday. So before winding up, if you are liking my videos, if all my videos are very useful for you, please don't forget to share among your friends, colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too. Today I am having cold, so my voice is very, very tuffy. So kindly excuse for that, I am having cough in between, that's why. So, uh, until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay tuned for my next upload.